Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do a general and see what pops up energetically and see what spirit has to say, what to look out for, what the energies are doing, who it may affect. This may or may not be your reading. It's open to all signs. Um, it could be someone in your external either by two or three or four or five or six or blah, 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 degrees of separation. So be mindful of that. All right, we'll start with um, assessing the masculine and feminine energy um, soulfully and see what direction it's going. The energies are all over the place right now, so let's see if we can pinpoint something for someone in the collective. We'll be seeing this soon and make use of the information. And for those that might come across it mid year, I need it. All right. All right. Our where to focus starts out with Osiris renewal in the reverse. And let's get our feminine on board. Ladies, how's the energy looking? Okay, let's see. Ooh, got two. All right. And at least they both came up in the upright. So we have Kali, Shadow, and Lakshmi, Abundance. I'm actually going to remind myself of the meanings of these cards. Okay. Osiris on the shadow side. Um, in the upright, it's all about needing self-care and having hope. Um, in this shadow side, it's if we push ourselves too hard, sometimes it's too late for renewal. So it's important to be timely with self-care. So this may be for somebody that has been neglecting themselves and their needs. Um, and it's starting to really experience sort of accelerated um, physical or mental um, symptoms, I should say, um, conditions, issues. So this is our warning to those that may be breaching that right okay self-care is needed at this time especially right now um let's see kali shadow yep shadow work time face them to be feet free from fear and it will lead to some kind of abundance as lakshmi is talking about here do the work to reap the rewards persevere and put in the time okay Okay, so in this case, let's figure out, I'm going to break out the double kipper deck and see what direction, what avenues, what areas of life in the tangible it may apply to. Um, let's see, we'll get out three cards, okay? All right. You do three. And they're all flipping up in the reverse except one. And the one that did not flip up in the reverse is the coffin, which refers to endings, could be a literal death. My apologies and condolences if that's the case. Um, but could also just be the start of some old situation ending to have a new beginning. And child showed up in the reverse which is sort of the same meaning as the coffin when it's not relating to an actual person, right? It could be also the child passed away if that's a situation that you um, resonate with. And I'm so sorry. Um, official person showed up in the reverse as well, which means this was not planned. Whatever this situation was just happened, okay? Um, all right. Or it could just be... Um, Formally official, like someone that should have done something but didn't do. Okay, let's get some tea leaf on this. I feel like this is a, related to some situational thing. And we'll figure out what the situation is. And get some guidance. How to feel. All right. Yep. Casket. Someone going out of your life or the end of a situation. Door. 
opportunities are waiting for you. And I'm going to get the secondary deck for the tea leaf as well. I split this one in, in half. My hands are too tiny <laughs> to handle a 200 card deck. But I love this deck because it's got so much um, variety of life in it. It's a great deck. And it's actually surprisingly easy to handle. All right, one more. Mm, okay. Cat, a two faced friend. Perhaps this is a friendship. Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. Okay. So this may be more of a situation where um, a friendship broke up because you felt betrayed. Okay. All righty. Um, in that case, let's get some personal identifiers from my homemade deck. I'm not going to assess the minor arcana with the playing cards or the images that center the card just with the sticker on there. It's identifiers. Straight up identifiers. Spirit, please. Who could this be referencing? Who, what energies are involved? How can we identify them? All right. I do three. All righty. Thank you. Ooh. We have... Hold on a second. <laughs> My sticker things. We have the rat in Chinese astrology twice. <laughs> we also have Aries, Cancer... The letter F, the letter Z, the letter L, Libra, and rabbit in the Chinese astrology. It could also be just a personal like, maybe somebody that you can associate rats or rabbits with. Or maybe some sort of pocket pet like that. Maybe they have a pocket pet. All right. Let's get some guidance on this spirit. Um... What's the lesson? We'll start there. What's the lesson? Thank you. Thank you. What is the so lesson regarding this situation that has ended? Regarding this two faced friend. What's the lesson? Thank you. Thank you. Or lesson. All right. One more. All right. The lesson is purpose. I know what I am here to do. And imagination. I embrace and nourish the creative aspect of my mind. So I'm thinking this situation is probably something super distracting um, in a karmic kind of way anyway. Um, and it was preventing this person from um, working towards their, their sole purpose, right? Uh, which apparently has something to do with creativity. So, all right. Purpose. I'll read that one first. The purpose of life is to love as souls we incarnate is to learn love through all as obstacles and challenges. Follow what leads your soul in this lifetime towards joy and love. Unhappiness is a sign that your soul is saying that there is a better way to manifest love. Follow your intuition. Imagination. Thoughts create reality. Positive attracts positive. Negative attracts negative. Express yourself with love and let go of creative blocks. So, as I said, this definitely feels like a circumstance where... Um, whatever this situation was that was negative was actually a distraction. So it going is actually a good thing and will bring in some hope and self love and probably jumpstart some healing towards shadow work and, you know, where you can reap the rewards and go towards abundance. This all ties together beautifully. So if that's the case, um, I'm going to get a little message from, from our, Janara Trimurti of Triple Guidances and see what what you can do next. What's the advice, ladies? This feels like a a bigger picture aspect, some sort of next step, right? All right, 
and then you can have Taurus, Isis, Star, for the dawn of his creativity and his purpose. One more. This is multifaceted. All right. We have divine destiny. The divine warrior, warrior is within you, helping you to continue your, with a worthy path, even during times of difficulty. When faced with a challenge, a true warrior will summon more of him or herself to the cause. It might be bringing more wisdom, focus, or intelligence, or surrendering into the divine. The warrior within has great inner resourcefulness and determination. Cartouche. Choose to release that which would lower your vibration into fear. Shadow work. Come back to love and stay true to yourself, and you shall inspire others to think or speak more positively when they are around you. Invoking the power of speech and words for your strength, protection, and spiritual growth will work effectively for you. Divine Guardian, this is a time of significant spiritual growth and healing for you. You are protected during these times by the love and strength of Divine Mother Isis. Relax and allow your, trans your transformation to happen. Your Divine Guardian protects you now. Let go, trust unconditionally in what is happening for you as there is only divine love beneath the surface of the present situation. All right, Diana, darling, through monology and your advice. Mm-hmm. What did I say? One more time, one more. All right. <laughs> what do you need to release? Waning moon. Work through your fears, new moon in Scorpio. So Scorpio could be significant somehow. Either that or the new moon in Scorpio, the past one, the one coming up, something significant surrounding that. Look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Also it could be past full moon in Sagittarius, upcoming full moon in Sagittarius. Or you're just dealing with a high aspect in Sagittarius. <laughs> All right, Hecate, darling. Anything else that we need to know? What's your advice? Is there any homework you want anyone to do? <laughs> uh, any bits of wisdom? Guidance? What you got for us? Don't go crazy. Three is more than adequate. Please be patient. <laughs> One more. All right, thank you. Aw. All right. We come and go in love. Merry meet and merry part, bright the cheeks and warm the heart. Gatherings bring joy, but the witch reminds you to honor the farewell. Know you will meet your soul friends again when the circle has turned. So perhaps this two-faced friend is actually soul family that's just going through some stuff and needs to learn a lesson. And your absence may be the one that does that, right? Sometimes that happens. It doesn't necessarily mean anything other than just divine timing right the witch's broom the day the witch will sweep and clear your space with her magical broomstick she freshens up the energy at work and home cleansing your aura and sparkling up your life feel your vital powers flowing here i'm gonna go ahead and do this <laughs> you can read them. all right and last but not least between the worlds liminal spaces are where the worlds of magic spills over into the worlds of humans the witch will take you there today. Fill yourself home with power, beauty, and intoxicating energy. There you go, guys. Hope that helps. <laughs> Have a good one.